my dad was surfing. He had a heart attack while surfing. And uh, ultimately, the heart attack ended his life. We'll just kind of go straight into it. You kind of grew up without your dad mm-hmm. for the most part. When tell, tell us a little bit about, I guess, that um, and kind of how it affected you. So I was <clears throat> 11 years old when it happened. Uh, it was mm-hmm. May 8, 2003. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was, my dad was surfing. He had a heart attack while surfing. And uh, ultimately, the heart attack ended his life. But mm-hmm. um, he also drowned, quote unquote. Mm-hmm. Um, but as a kid, like being that, as young as I was, my parents were already divorced. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I kind of, Liz and I were talking about this the other day. It's, I don't think I fully processed it too much. Yeah. 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 Cause you're too young. Um, Yeah. I was, I was 11. Um, And you don't really process death in a way that you would as an adult. Mm -hmm. Right. So, I mean, of course, sadness, of Mm -hmm. course, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like heartbreak and all that. Yeah. And I can express those now as an adult, mm-hmm. but as right. a kid, it's like, you don't know those emotions. Right. And it was kind of weird. Cause like I had my dad, but I also had Bob. Right. Right. And they were both very much father figures to me. Mm. So like when my dad passed, Bob was actually surfing with him that day. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So, Bob and him were like best friends. Mm -hmm. And so when my dad passed, Bob really took it upon himself to be a father figure even more. Mm. Um, Yeah. So yes, it was sad, heartbreaking, but other than that, like, I don't really remember it too much because I was just so young. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I've grown up with it for so long without him being here that mm-hmm. it's kind of weird in that sense. Like, mm-hmm. like yeah, I, I hear stories about him and I'm like, man, I wish I would have known him more. Sure, yeah, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. um, my sister was just on island. Um And she brought her mom, who we have different moms. Mm -hmm. Um, But the last time her mom was here was like 40 some years ago. Oh, okay. And so we ended up meeting up with Marco. Mm -hmm. And they're talking all these stories about my dad. Okay, yeah. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, wow, this is cool. But Mm -hmm. I don't know them. I don't know my dad as much as these guys do. Right. I've definitely had more days of it affecting me as an adult Mm -hmm. uh, than it has as a kid. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And I think that was partially because of the fact that even though he was gone, I had his best friend, Bob, really taking over Mm. and really investing into my life. Like, Bob wasn't a religious person in any way, Mm -hmm. but But he he was there. Kids. Yeah, he, was he there. never had kids of his own, mm-hmm. and he was there for anything. I remember when I was at KCC, mm-hmm. when I was at community college, I was driving to work one day, or driving to school one day, and I got a flat tire. It was a day of a test. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And it's like six in the morning, maybe sure. even earlier. Yeah, yeah. And I called Bob, and I was like, I just got a flat tire. I need to get to school. There's a big exam today. Mm -hmm. And he came, picked me up, dropped me off at school. Mm -hmm. And like did stuff around the hui and picked me up and brought me back. Yeah. (laughs) It's like, like I look back at that now and I'm like, I mean, I'm sure he had other plans and he completely changed his plans around to help Mm -hmm. me out. Yeah. Like who does that? Yeah. Yeah. Aside from family. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, I think what was quote unquote, a little harder on me than losing my actual dad was when Bob passed away when I was 19 mm. because yeah. I was older. Right. 
Yeah. So that I think was harder on me mm-hmm. a little bit. So how do you how do you deal with that stuff? Like, do you still deal with that stuff now? Um, not so much. Like, mm-hmm. um, because I've dealt with death a lot as a kid growing mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. Um, I have learned to not in a sense like ignore it, but like what happened has happened. No matter how much I grieve, Mm -hmm. life's going to keep going forward. Mm -hmm. And if I stay here and dwell on this, I'm Mm -hmm. never going to move forward with life. Right. Yeah. So Mm -hmm. like I'm very focused on the now and the future as a much not as much as the past. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. So that's kind of how I deal with it. I mean, everyone's different. Some people Mm -hmm. need to really process through their Mm -hmm. emotions and work through it. Right. Um, But for me, that was my big thing was I need to get up, go to work, do what I got to do. I got to move forward. I got to, life goes on. Yeah. And Yes, there are moments of grieving. Yes, there are moments of sadness where you got to cry it out and you're going to feel the heartbreak. You're going to feel the sad, the pain. Mm -hmm. But they're they're fleeting. Yeah. They they come and go. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, And it's good to acknowledge them. It's good to feel them. Mm -hmm. But don't dwell on them. Yeah. Because... Um, you they can be like an anchor mm-hmm. that holds you in place. Um, if you just focus on them, in my opinion. 